Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Anthony with the uh, Light Shape Productions and today I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, one of the periods I had last week. <clears throat> it was my language arts period. Uh, recently I switched out of my AP class to take um, some concurrent enrollment classes to get some actual college credits done at the community college here. Uh, and uh, anyways, so to switch out of my AP class, I went into a normal class in my high school schedule, got changed up, and the teacher has higher standard, uh, higher standards for me. She thinks differently when it comes to my responses and whatnot, and it's really, really annoying. Like, I'm just trying to be a regular student. Stop expecting so much of me. Not trying to be lazy, really, I'm not. I'm just trying to be regular in that class, you know, take a break, because I'm going to have to go to the college later on this week and give my all in English, you know, it's annoying having to do it both times. But anyways, we took this test and I got a 97% on it, I missed two, and everyone else in the class failed it. I'm not joking with you, there were about five kids out of the class that passed it, and I had the highest score. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, guys. And she said everybody in the class did horrible, and then she looked at me and she said that I did the worst considering how smart I am. And it didn't bother me much. I just wanted to get up and sock her in the face or something. I don't know. But it's just really, really annoying how someone can expect something from me. And even when I do so well, it's like, I mean, I didn't get 100, but I mean, I feel like I did good. I felt good about what I did on the test. Uh, I'm sorry if this sounds like me whining, but... Teachers shouldn't put the smart kids in a category, they shouldn't put the lower kids in a category, and they shouldn't put the average kids in a category. They need to treat all their students as a group, and, you know, they need to give them the equal amount of respect that they would the others. They shouldn't uh, give certain individuals more or less uh, attention or, you know, uh, discipline or criticism. It's annoying and ridiculous. Uh, one of the topics my professor went over with our class last, last week was spot on with how she treated, my teacher treated me. Uh, he said that, uh, basically in our education departments now, in the K-12, students are just really thrown under the bus for teachers, and it's not a student's fault that they do poorly in class, but it's more of a social thing for even going up to the district or uh, how teachers are teaching, you know, it's not just a student's fault that they fail. It is, but it's not always because you could have teachers like mine who are just <sighs> insensitive and kind of ignorant. But anyways, not trying to badmouth her, but yeah. So on a lighter note, guys, uh, go check out the playlist for our Let's Play videos and Jason's been uploading and, uh, Check them out. They're funny. He just did one with Rachel this weekend. Uh, she's one of our friends. She's pretty cool. Uh, it's a Resident Evil gameplay. You might enjoy it. Uh, I'm on Call of Duty, and I will be on Titanfall on the Xbox One, so I'll leave a, my gamer tag in the description below for Xbox One, and I'll leave a link to our Instagram in the description below. Check that out. It updates you on all our videos, and uh, we appreciate the guy. Uh, we appreciate the love. <clears throat> And all the support you guys bring. Sorry you had to listen to me ramble. And if you watch this vlog, thank you. I appreciate and love you. Goodbye, YouTube.